go. Upper. I want it up. No. I want it upper. <laughs> what? I want more up. I want it more upper. You want more upper? I think that's probably the end of what it lifts, but let's try it. Hi, Redneck Computer Geek here. Hopefully you can see me, but I'm not important. What's important is this truck crane that's behind me. This is the model from Harbor Freight that has both the hydraulic lift along with the winch assembly. I'll probably upgrade it later to have an electric winch on it just because I like upgrading stuff, but that's for a later date. What we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be unboxing it on the bed of this pickup truck. I'm going to be mounting it on this custom flatbed. If you're interested in this, I'll post a video down in the description um, so you can take a look at this and see what I'm working with. From there, I'm going to mount it just behind the driver's side seat. That way everything can come up and over and into the center of the rear of the bed. So, without further babble, let's open up. Um, this crane, when they ship it, it is basically 94 to 92 pounds, kind of depends on what you read and who you ask. Uh, right now, that says 94 as of FedEx. If you read Harbor Freight, they say it's 92. Um, so, let's take a look. Let's see what we got here. So the box itself is beat to an absolute pulp, but it looks as if stuff on the inside is pretty good. So there's some trash. That's heavy. I'm betting that's probably the jack ram. Yep, so that's the hydraulic jack, has a pivot on bottom, looks pretty decent. Handle for the winch, and a whole ton of hardware. Okay, from here it looks like it's just the primary pole. See if you can see that. So that does extend quite a bit over the top of the cab. Let me see if I can pick it up and move it. Okay, so my goal is to put it somewhere right about there. Then from there, you got this, which should extend across. And then that should be able to bolt directly to this. So I'll be able to winch it up and have it hitch onto this so it'll act as a crossbar when not in use. So I'll raise the height of the truck probably 8 inches.
Got a couple of bottom plates, which I'm betting are what we use to mount it in. And a good old set of directions. Every once in a while you find that tool that is just that simple. It just plain lifts things. Riley is a nice 75-ish pounds. Johnny can sit here and run this. Go ahead, John. Johnny, at four years old, can lift the crane. And if all else fails, can we do that higher? you can crank her a little higher. Okay, fine. So we'll lift something that's real, but it was fun. You want me to do it? Sure. Okay, I'm going to move you right. But let's try it. Hey, that's really hard. Alright, that's basically about the end of what it'll lift for what we Look have down. here with Riley. Look down. Look We're going to see if we'll rotate her and get her back onto the bed. Holy! This is awesome. Dad, can you try to drive it? <laughs> no, I'm not going to drive it with you on it. <laughs> so there we are, we're able to pick up Riley and get her all the way up there. Can we go on after? We'll see. Yay, both of us. Alright, so a typical main thing they have to deal with this time of year is usually a generator or something like this, a Craftsman snowblower. So we're going to wrap the lifting strap around it and see if we can lift it up, set it in the back end. We actually have an oil tank we've got to go empty this year. So we've got a 55 gallon drum in the back and we're going to be pulling from the diesel pump with that. I'll do a review on that later. Um, it's a very common one sold on Amazon so I'll do that while I'm at it. But we're going to see what we can do to pick this up. Set it over in behind the pump, call it happy. Um, please don't slide it on. Okay, so. Do you want, can I even really Yeah. So, no. So, we'll have to get up here. There we go, so we let it loose. Okay, go ahead and let it down. This one? Let it down. No, the other direction. This one? Good girl. Yep, keep going. Keep going. There you go. Okay. That's not all the way down. Yep, I know it's not all the way down. Dad, you just built this. Yep, just got done working on it. Yep, so we're going to bring it in a notch. Can, can, um, is that strong enough so I can get on it? Johnny can. You, on the other hand, weigh too much. Uh, and Johnny is just almost too much. Yeah. Okay, so this is our strap from Harbor Freight that we're going to use. It's rated for 2,000 pounds, which is severe overkill for this particular snowblower. So we're going to wrap it around and go from there. Are, are you driving it? No, I'm not going to drive it, Riley. I'm going to lift it. And, this, and then you're going to drive the truck? We might drive the truck today. We'll see. With this truck, with Jack, that would be awesome. Okay. So here we are. We got this. We're going to hook it up. Can I swing it around? 
Well, you can lift the snowblower. Okay, so let's set this into the up position. Go this way with it, Riley. You want to try again? Okay, you go ahead. Ready? Alright, so not quite able to lift it as far as the littles are concerned. So let's see if we can lift it up enough to get it into the bed. I want to do it again. Oh, here we go. We're going to lift it up for the bed. Ready? Okay, so here we go. So we're at the 600 pound setting. We definitely are able to lift it without too much of an issue at all. You gonna try? Okay, go ahead. You try. Pull down. Pull down like this. Ow! Okay, try it again. All right, so unfortunately, a little bit too strong for the for the seven year old. Here we go. You mean six? Six, my bad, six. Parenting, you're always going to be wrong. Here we go. So in November. Okay, so let's see if we can sweep it across and put it onto the bed. Ready? Oh no. Riley, could you please go on the other side of the barrel? This side? Other side of the barrel. Other side of the barrel. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna push it and see if we can sweep it across. I wanna just go on. No, no, no. <laughs> There you go. No, Riley. Not close to me. There we go, Riley. That's the whole point. No, I'm totally getting up here. Okay, so that worked out pretty good. Alright, so at this point, we're going to lay it down. And we should settle right on the back of the pickup truck. There we go. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the pump pressure just a little bit. So it's going to stay there, not go anywhere. We're ready to transport. Have fun, guys. Good job. There you go. All the way up? Okay, no, that's good enough. You're as high as you're going to get. Can I push him? Where are you, where are you going to push him? You gotta no. swing him around? No! Whoa! Whoa! Ah. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I'm slipping! I'm slipping! Oh, you're slipping? Yeah! Oh, yeah! Alright, we're gonna let you down so you can get off, okay? So, what you do, Riley? Okay, to let him down. So we take this and we turn it. Uh, I can't it jump bit. down. No, don't jump. We're going to let you down. Ready? Do it fast. 